Hi, it's Ross King here in, yes, that place. Now, we all know the gag, fastest cake in the world, scone. Scones are in abundance. Where? At the BAFTA LA Tea Party. They have two every year, one for the Emmys, one for the Oscars. The Oscars one is held at the beautiful Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. I always pop along there. You never know who you're gonna bump into. It really is a great event because everyone's really relaxed. You know, sometimes in red carpets, everyone can be a little bit uptight, especially just before big awards. But with this one, there's a cup of tea, there's fish and chips, you name it, they get it. And you know what? The chats are good too. It's funny, I was just watching you, I'm thinking, all these carpets, all these interviews, how do you deal with it all? Because it's like you get it's like you get pushed and pulled and Anxiety shoved. Anxiety medication. <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, I don't know, well, I'm here with my whole family. All right. So, as well as my girlfriend, I have my mother, my stepfather, my auntie, and my two little sisters. And that helps. Yeah. How do they deal with it? They love it. Yeah. Yeah, of course they do. It's great fun. No one in my family has ever been involved in the film industry, so uh -huh. it's a huge novelty for them. And, and although I... Frighteningly, I'm starting to get used to this life, yeah. which is worrying in itself. <laughs> Having them around um, keeps it constantly fresh, and you, you know, because because they still look at it with wonder, and, and I think it's important to do that because it is an extraordinary life, and um, and one that I never want to take for granted. Yeah. They say things like, "Do you really know Elton John?" That kind of thing. <laughs> and we're a bit past that stage. <laughs> aren't we? And in there it'll be like, get not, can you get me a selfie with and all that stuff? You've got it all ahead of you there. They're quite good. They're quite good with all that. Yeah. They're quite respectful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you go calm it down. Just yeah, keep kill it. it. Keep it up. Chill it. And from the singing point of view, what's happening? Are you still singing much? Only in the shower. Really? I'd like to do another musical. I'm a bit frightened of doing one too quickly. Yeah. Because I don't want to be typecast. Because as much as I love it, it's not what I want to do exclusively. But mm -hmm. I. I do love the genre, and it yeah. seems to be having a bit of a moment in the sun, so yeah. who knows? I'd yeah. love to do another musical film. This is like a, a real, true honour. Oh, thank After you very all much. these years, <laughs> to meet you, Bernie, is oh. just really quite oh, something. Thank you. That's very nice of you. So, this, it almost feels kind of almost like a new journey. Is it like a new journey for you? Um, well, <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. I mean, you know, film's always been in the bloodline. But to be represented within a film and then be a part of the sort of peripheral of it, you know, it's, it's not necessarily confusing. It's more enjoyable and confusing. But, uh, yeah, it's nice to be nominated for a song, for a movie that's actually about you. You know, I've never had that in my DNA before, so that's pretty exciting. You guys' relationship is sensational. Did you know each other well before this? No, no. We, we, just, we met in the last audition. We did our last audition together, and that's, you know, that set us in good stead. And we basically spent every day together from that point. Yeah. Sort of till now. Basically. Yeah, every day. And now you've fallen out. Exactly. No, no, because no, no. I don't know. I'm bereft. Like, what are we going to do after this trip? Uh, like, you know. oh, no. But yeah, we just spent every day with each other. We went to France uh, to do research in Belgium. And uh, we did a lot of training. And it was a uh, big, big bonding experience. Yeah. And also, also, as a boy from Glasgow, I spotted Govan in there. Yeah. Govan's not often used in movies. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we, we were, yeah, it, it, got, it got a bit of a makeover, for sure. Like, but yeah, that was, that was a great week. That was a great week. It was, um, and that's the thing, obviously, like, you know, when you watch it seamlessly, it's all one shot and it's all in France. But some of those one shots, you know, when you, when those little secret stitches within that, we, we jump from Salisbury to Glasgow. <laughs> you know? uh -huh. well, and how's the whole Hollywood experience for you? It's been, it's been amazing. I mean, it's very new to us doing all this sort of stuff. Um, we, we just finished a big press tour last month, and uh, but it's, it's really exciting. And to be, you know, in the same room as people that I look up to is a dream come true. Congratulations on the performance. Watching you and Tony together, it's like watching a world-class tennis match. Yeah. Is that how it felt when you were? Well, we're the first uh, two Welsh tennis champions, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, no, it was great working with him. We we became. You know, what you see on screen is kind of what happened in life. We were not knowing each other very well at the beginning and then becoming great friends and tangoing by the end of it. But uh, I'm a huge fan of his and we, we're, we're great friends now, so that's very gratifying. Just a little bit about the experience of it, the cast, the director, yourself, the involvement. Well, we, we had a, a, a very 
good, productive, uh, fun, I wouldn't say fun, but it was kind of, depends on what you call fun, but it was a very a great, great time we had, working on it with Al, with Joe, and Marty directing us, which I couldn't have asked for anything, couldn't have asked for anything better. I'm sure you get asked this all the time, not only just in interviews, but also by people as well. So the whole thing of who in the royal family watches, does it trickle through? Does anyone, does any of the cast come in and go, I just heard that, you know. Thingy's watching it. Thingy's yeah. watching it. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I know that um, in my in my eyes, I, the way I think, see it is that if there was ever a drama made about me, I definitely would not watch it. So I don't know. But maybe Prince Charles is uh, uh, desperate to see me. Maybe he's a fan. I don't know. Um, <laughs> We're pretty nice to him in this series, Absolutely. so I think he should watch it if he hasn't. Yeah. And also the interesting thing, if you come across him at some point, that's going to be an interesting moment too. That'd be strange, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I have always, I've often thought that if I do meet him, I would love to just genuinely just check the size of his ears and compare them to mine and see if we are, how far off we are. I think I think he's a, his are much bigger, but I don't know. New series announced and yet another red card, but yet another reward. I know. It's not, I know I keep seeing you. I know it's so nice. It's I mean, keep pinching myself, but it's it's incredible. It's been an amazing year, and to you know to start off January like this is um, yeah, it's pretty special. How much grooming does he take? And because obviously he not won't much. say. Oh no, see, he much. said not much. We have a tiny lawn yeah. mower, and we just <laughs> mow it down <laughs> because it grows straight out, and so it needs. It doesn't take too long. Story. Yeah, yeah. Does does it tickle a lot when he kisses? Does it tickle? Mm. No. Sometimes you say it goes up your nose. Sometimes when it's too long, it goes straight up my, my nose. nose. What yeah. he has, he has this thing that looks like a barn door, and then he has to cut it or else it goes straight up. Oh. What down there? I wouldn't say it's like no up here. Oh, up there. Right. Yeah, you know that. I'm trying to figure out how to. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so Peter is going. Any questions about Chernobyl? Or are we just in all about facial hair? Yeah. No, you can do it about Chernobyl. <laughs> okay. They lost all their hair when you get radiated. There we are. It's connected. There is a connection there. I mean, I'm presuming not surprised at the, the success and the, the worldwide recognition for the show, or...? No, or someone, in fact, Johan told me the other day that um, Chernobyl was the fourth most searched word or term or phrase all of last year. On Google. On Google. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah After it Justin kind of, Bieber was number one. Yeah, and he was number one, yeah. But it was, yeah. it sort of struck a chord, so, mm -hmm. yeah. How are things? Good, good. So, last time I saw you, yes. we were having a very yeah. in-depth discussion yeah. about what you're going to spend the money on, and it was jumpers, if jumper. I remember. I, yeah. I bought a jumper. You haven't bought uh, one yet? I did, I just did. All right. Um, Extravagant? Yeah, it was nice. Um, <laughs> I do want to, uh, uh, I want to uh, buy my uh, my grandmother's house back. All right. But I haven't made enough yet, <laughs> so. It's all on the way. No, no. So, <laughs> so, Tell me what has it been like, this whole sort of mad experience? Has it been just mad? Well, it's, yeah, no, it's mad. <laughs> it's fun, no, but it's mad. Working with a great cast and a little Roman as well. Yeah. And, and also events like this. I mean, I love the fact that, you know, I talked to him about now he's got this movie started. He wants to buy jumpers. Is his oh, big thing. And, um, and his favourite movie, mil favourite moment in the movie was kicking Hitler where it hurts. And yeah. he kept doing it. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, we did that a few times. Um, the uh, That's actually my favourite moment as well. <laughs> really? Yeah, because Kick I feel like, you know, the char it was fun for me to play the character because yeah. he's an idiot and I'm an idiot. And, um, and I just felt like, just, and I love watching that moment again and again. Like if, if there are screenings, I like to go in at the end of the, of the film and, and watch that happening. Just to get the audience's reaction, but also just fills me with joy seeing Hitler kick through a window. There we are. With this award season, because I mean, you've been through this before, mm -hmm. this madness. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with the madness? It's difficult. Uh, it's, it's difficult to be natural, and it's very difficult to don't lose your dignity, um, because uh, it seems that you are just raising a flag saying, hey, I'm here, and I would like to have an award. It's not about that. It shouldn't be about that. It should be about the work that you have done and the celebration that the movie actually connects with audiences all around the world. And then the results of that in something that can materialize in an iconic symbol or something like that. It's beautiful. Everywhere you go now, instant recognition, do you find? No, not at all. <laughs> Um, it depends. From day to day it kind of changes. Some days you're invisible and some days I must be giving something <laughs> off, saying look at me. But uh, You've got the glow around you that day. 
Well, I, I dress very differently to Claire. Like, I mean, today I'm, you know, very smart, but usually I'm like, you know, jogging bottoms and jumpers and very, very cash. So uh, I can get away with it most of the time. What is the one thing that you find that people say to you then when they see it? Well, everyone is so kind and generous and just full of love. And, and that's kind of what's so beautiful about it. I mean, we wanted to share a love story ultimately. And so it's really beautiful to get that back. Everyone, everyone is very, very lovely. So yeah, it's wonderful. Now, in terms of Claire, who did you base her on? Or was it all there? Oh, yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't base her on anyone. I just was inspired by Phoebe's extraordinary writing and ideas. And uh, yeah, it was very, very clear who she was from the page. And I'd been playing her for a long time because she appeared in a sketch that Phoebe wrote many years ago. Um, I knew who that woman was. Like, I've met a lot of people like her. And so it was, it was very easy. And, and in terms of how I approach my acting, I always just... I don't know, I let it, I let them sort of, I don't know, I feel it in my body and then I just kind of see what comes out. So last time I saw you, come on, you promised me a part in the next movie. Oh and, yeah, that's, a, that's, I, that's a given. That's a given. That's a given. And, and the, there is a new movie. Uh, there might it? be, there might be. <laughs> you, no, see, no, yes. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, well, who's uh, watching? Who's this? Yeah. There, there, there could be. There could right, be. could be. Can there's, we see there's any a more? Few, there's a few irons in the fire. Right. So what I have to do is juggle those and, and, and a few, what do they say? This, there's several pots on the stove simmering. Yes. I have to see which one comes to the boil first. That's brilliant. But it is good. It is good. But I'm going to see. So I can't tell you what your part is yet. All right. <laughs> But I, I may not be in it a lot, but I'm talked about it a lot. You're talking about the, the, one of those characters, yeah. I got it. Uh, and just in the edge of frame. But anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like seriously, it. seriously, how yeah. brilliant for you that I'm presuming it is. It's just ports simmering everywhere. Well, it, I mean, it is. It's an interesting time because, uh, yeah, you know, the success of the film Rocket Man and everyone's, everyone's very excited by that. And um, it means that, yeah, that people are talking to me about these very varied projects. And... And with any of these things, they sort of get in a, in a bit of a race with themselves. And you, you kind of go, OK, now I'm pushing this forward and I'm pushing that. And they're all very different. They're like from Sherlock Holmes to Renfield. These are completely different kind of projects. And it's I'm sort of in a race with myself, as it were, to see which one I can get to the finishing line first, or the starting line yeah, first, yeah. really, yeah. What can we say that hasn't been said already about about Logan? I, well, love the, I love the fact you have a catchphrase, which we can't actually see in yeah, television. Yeah, we can't say that, no. <laughs> was that your idea? No, 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 it was just written, and uh, it's become... We, 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 uh, we call it cauliflower, right? for short. Right. So I, I'm constantly being asked by people if they would cauliflower, if I could cauliflower them. Nice. Yes, I know. It's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> I did a play recently in uh, New York, and... Yeah, the kids come up afterwards and say, would you please say cauliflower for us? <laughs> so I said, well, why don't you cauliflower? <laughs> <laughs> also quite nice as well that, that in the past people could shout these things in the street at you and yeah. it would be bad, whereas now it's like, well, thank you. Well, that's, right, that's, right, that's right. It's very good if you don't want people to bother you can actually get away with it by saying cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> has, has it taken you by surprise? Well, it's kind of gone quite ballistic in a way, yeah. which is... Uh, Surprising, to say the least. I mean, um, yeah, it has a little bit taken me by surprise. I mean, I knew the show was great because we have great writers and we have the great Jesse Armstrong who's done the great business on it. So in a way, you know, we're kind of... I mean, I knew it was had a sort of potential because it's not like anything else. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it work. Um, guess where I'm from? Oh, um, oh. Uh, uh, Glasgow. Glasgow. Yes. <laughs> yes. In one. Well, I've written your song. <laughs> so from the people of Glasgow, thank you. You know, I've had the nicest. So uh, I've had the nicest uh, tweets from people and messages from people on Instagram from Glasgow. And when the movie Wild Rose was shooting and they were playing my song. I woke up to like hundreds of people saying we're in this scene and we've listened to it over and over and we love the song and people have been very lovely about it there. There we are, told you, more A-listers than you can shake uh, a little golden man at. Oh yeah, that's the Oscars Tea Party brought to you by BAFTA LA. See you soon. Now, if you've enjoyed our little chats, and I hope you have, and you'd like some more, then all you have to do is click right here for some more Good Morning Showbiz videos.